and uh, it's very deeply ingrained and they're not talking about it the way we have been for the last you know 40 50 60 years 100 yeah. years yeah anyway um so there's hope yes but it takes all of us and it takes an effort from all of us yeah and um and certainly speaking of employment um obviously we're hoping for uh, for enda um I, mm. believe that's in, <laughs> I believe that's in committee at the moment. Um, yes. And, uh, the the we'll Federal Employment Non-Discrimination Act. Yes. Um, something we desperately need. Um, Which we it's, a, it's a very good thing. And, um, and hopefully this time... It'll go uh, through inclusively. Yep. Mm. Hopefully. And inclusive and uh, yes. We'll, um, we'll provide protections, among other groups, for, um, uh, um, for excuse me, employment protections for... Um, uh, based on sexual orientation and gender identity and expression, yeah, among other categories. Something that in this state we, by the way, don't have. Um, right. You know, we're hoping at our state level. But we do we have a supreme, a state supreme court decision protecting trans people from discrimination. You can um, you can try to find relief under the existing law if you want to file a case that says you were discriminated on based upon your sex. So that means if you were to lose your job, you'd have to file a, a case that says, I was fired because I'm male and I look like a girl. And that's discrimination against a male. Mm. That's the yeah. argument you have to make under that ruling. You can try to find relief at the state level underneath it, um, but it's the wrong argument. Right, you know? and do right. you want to do it? Do you want to go before a court and say, I'm male, and I was fired because I don't meet the, w their expectation of what a male should look like. Which means you'd have to lie. Right? Yeah, which effectively means you'd have to lie, because you're not. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's, that's the, when, when, when they passed that law, that, or that ruling, that uh, it was, a, I think, a CHRO ruling, um, that, that said that you could try to seek relief under the existing sex protections. Um, but that's, that's, that's the result of it. That's the caveat of it. Is it's uh, you have to make the case that you were fired based on sexual discrimination, mm. and uh, we do still need, you know, uh, clear, discrete protection for gender identity and sexual yes. orientation and gender expression. An act at concerning the state level. an act concerning discrimination, um, which uh, would uh, would um, which should be coming up this fall. Should get raised this fall. Hopefully, the state level. And um, hopefully, this time we can make it happen. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a long time coming, and it's uh, it's last year it uh, it died in committee. I believe it never even never even got out of committee. Right, it never um, got out of committee. And it um, it's very unfortunate because. Um, because yeah, we don't in a progressive place like Connecticut. It's unfortunate that, that we really don't have protections. And the irony, I think, was the year before last, the Senate passed it yes. with an overwhelming majority. Yes. And it just never got voted on in the House. That's right. It didn't get quite get there. And last year, it got lost in the political shuffle. And yeah. It's 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 had very good support. It's just been like logistics. It's kept us from getting there, but. So we need everyone's help to remind your representatives. Yeah. We do want to address this, uh, this act concerning discrimination to add gender identity and expression to the state um, anti-discrimination laws. And we want to rep remind our federal representatives that uh, we want them to vote in favor of an inclusive Employment Non-Discrimination Act yeah. this year. Yep. Those are two big things that we, we need to be working on. And, um, We'll see what happens, um, but uh, but it is important to note that that um, discrimination is, even though we've come a long way and things are are, um, are much much better in this country than they were, you know, even ten years ago. Well, it, it's important um, to note that we have a long way to go, and um, discrimination is still there, and it's often it's very insidious sometimes, and and um, you don't even realize that it's happening, um, and it uh, it. It can, and I was reading something. Um, I've been reading a lot of things about um, about discrimination against, um, you know, trans people, and um, mm. and it's especially you know things like uh, like 
maintaining employment can be very, very difficult. Um, you know, if you're trans and you lose a job in this country um, or in, in this state, um, it can mean you never work again. Yeah. You know, it can be very, very hard um, to find work if you're trans, um, and, and that's that's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I I, um, I can say for myself, um, one of the the very interesting things about, um, about and you knew guys knew this was coming. One of the very interesting things about being trans, and I, I say that that it's allowed me sort of to see discrimination that I didn't even, you know, that I knew was there before, but I, I couldn't really. Um, see it the way I probably should have seen it. You know, my eyes, uh, this kind of opened my eyes a bit. And changing genders, uh, or ef effectively or perceptually Apparently. changing genders, because clearly I was never male, but, but I lived as a, a, a man at one point in my life. And, um, and so for all intents and purposes to everybody around me, I was. And, um, and so it sort of, um, effectively changing genders as I did allowed me to see how women are discriminated against in this mm. this country and I, I uh, you know I, I can't I don't want to become a, a feminist you know uh, because of this but um, well, but I, I understand them a lot better now and I understand the discrimination that does go on against right. women and it's it's like you know what that should be a wake-up call and it's been a wake-up call to me that you know what the other people out there that are saying gee we're being discriminated against we probably shouldn't be dismissing them, you know, because um, there probably is more truth to it than we realize. But but anyway, we have a phone call, um, so we're going to take this and see what happens. Good evening, NLC Trans, you're on the air. Yeah, hi. 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 How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I don't know. I wrote you guys an email about three or four days ago. You did? Yeah, my name's William Whitman. Yes, yes. yes. Um, and, okay. Did, did you, you wrote back? I wrote back, yes, I did. Did you get my email? No, it's because I haven't got on the computer, so. Okay. Oh, okay, I did, uh, I did send you an email um, with contact information and, um, and um, uh, actually, I have your phone number. So you do? I do, um, I do have your phone number. You put and, it in the email, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. so, um, we're actually having a meeting Friday, which you're welcome to come to. Really? Yeah, um, and, and I can give you a call and get you some information. Oh, what time is the meeting? It's um, 7 till 10. Oh, what, 7 in the morning? No, no 7 at night till, till 10 on Friday night. Oh, wow, nice. And it's in, it's in the Norwich area. Okay. Um, and yeah, we'd love to have you come. Yeah. Um, so uh, what I'll do is I'll give you give you a call. What's a good time to call you? Uh, anytime really. I just sometimes I work, but other than that, you can call me. Okay. Um, what I can do is give you try giving you a call tomorrow sometime. Yeah. So you guys, what do you guys do exactly? You guys help people like me, or? Well, we we um we provide a uh, we have a support group that meets every other Friday and. Um, we we try to make sure people are um, have access to the information that they're looking for. We try to put them in touch with resources if we know about any. Um, we generally try and provide support. You know, help uh, help you meet whatever goals you have set for yourself. Yeah, it's just it's a and it's a fun. It's it's a really nice group of people. It's not a big group. No, and basically we have a lot of food and we talk all night. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a pretty easy setting. It's um. It's so you guys can figure. You guys can help me with my needs, or right? basically figure out what's going on with me, somewhat. Well, or we're we're, or <laughs> <laughs> we're we're not therapists, and, and and we don't purport to be able to provide that kind of support. But as a social support group, yes, we we, we can we can talk with you. We can um, we can try and get you pointed towards the right resources. We can provide you, um, you know, emotional and 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 social camaraderie and support. Um, and you know things like that. I mean, we can be your friend. We can help, but yeah. uh, but you know we're not we're not qualified therapists or anything along those lines. Yeah. No, no, no. I actually, I was talking to my uncle too. He thinks that I'm that I've been holding on to this for so long, and I think that I'm a man trapped in a woman's body. Yeah, yeah. Or how does that go? 
a woman? No, I mean. Well, it, that's um, <laughs> honestly, that's entirely for you to tell us how you feel. Yeah. 